Hello and Shamai, welcome to Wales, uh, which is part of the UK. I'm Dr Tony Malone and I'm a World Scouting Consultant for EDNI and we're going to look at art today. We've, you're going to need some brushes, some wax, in, these, in this case it's wax crayons. If you've got a candle that will do the same job. You'll need some water-based paints and some water to go with them. And I invite you to paint along with me as we look at the United Nations Sustainable Development Goals and see what we can do as an artistic interpretation of those goals. I hope you enjoy. We're going to start up by going through what the Sustainable Development Goals are. So I'm going to use a brush and some paints and collect some water. We'll be using lots of water in this. Start off with a nice red. And I think we'll start over here and we'll see Sustainable Development Goal number one, which is no poverty, which is one of the ones that Scouts are working towards all over the world. And I'm going to take some yellow and mix that to make an orange. And we'll go here. And there is sustainable development goal number two, zero hunger. Now I'm going to clean my brush thoroughly for this point and get some of this nice green colour. Oops, a little bit of red, but that doesn't matter. And we'll go into here for sustainable development goal number three, which is good health and well-being. We then will pick up a bit of red and put that here. I'm going to get some of this nice darker colour. Let me just pick some of that up and mix that in. A little bit more purpley. That can go here. And we have number four, which is quality of education. And then deep red for this one. We'll go red and into there. And here, sustainable development goal number five, gender equality and how we work across the world to ensure that men, women, boys, girls and all treated equally. Now I'm going to go over here for this lovely bright blue and the blue goes in here for sustainable development goal number six. Going off to get some yellow now, nice bright yellow and that can go down here which is for clean energy and renewable resources. Back over to here, so some purple, we'll add that and add some blue in to get a nice rich colour. And we have Sustainable Development Goal 8, which is for economic growth and sustainable economic growth. Back here, we're going to pick up some orange. And I hope you're getting the idea that we just have fun with the colours. They haven't got to be exact. A um, bit more water. And the orange one goes into there for SDG number 9. We then move on, and for this one we need to have a special colour, so we'll have some bright red and some blue. A bit of yellow too. And I'm hoping to achieve a purple with this, but it's not working out, so I'm going to start again. And just go with some bright red, lots of water, and put that in for SDG number 10, reducing inequalities, which as many of you know is my personal favourite one how we can all work together across the world. I'm going to clean my palette and we'll finish the rest. So I've had a quick pause there and I've just cleaned up and added a bit more paint because I was running low. And we're going to go straight in with this lovely deep yellow and add this to SDG number 11, which is for sustainable communities. I'm going to mix two colours together now to get a slightly more orangey colour again for SDG 12, which is here which looks at recycling and renewables and how we can all take a part in ensuring our communities are making the best uses of the resources we have available. Now, lots of green for this one. I'm gonna add that in here. And we'll put the green in down here. And this is for SDG 13, which is looking at climate change and looking at all the things we can do as scouts around the world to prevent climate change and also to help mitigate the effects of it too. Mixing up a nice light blue. I may have to change my water. It's always important to have clean water when you're doing this. But a nice light blue here, which is a bit more gray, but actually that's okay. I quite like this. It's nice where it's all mixing in with the different colors. Add some blue in. There we are. And that's for life below water. Looking at what happens in our oceans and our seas. Back to the greens again. So I'm just gonna get some green. And that can go into here for life on land, SDG 15, looking at how what we do affects life on land. 
then one of, another one which is a very strong scouting one, SDG 16, Peace, Justice and Strong Institutions. And last but not least, and a slightly darker blue, we'll go for that one, about a bit of yellow in, partnerships, how we can all work in partnerships to achieve these goals. And this is a really quick way, which we call relief. I've used wax to draw the images on and then use watercolours to go over the top. And just to have some fun with it, let's add a little cheeky scout. Let's have a scout down here. I'm just going to get a clean brush. So I'm going to get some water for my brush. And get some skin colours going. And down here, we might find there's a scout. Ooh, there's some eyes and a smiley face. And I think we'll give them, we'll give them blue hair just to have some fun. So there's some blue hair for them, and little blue eyes too. And then of course they need the purple neckerchief. So let's say that they're part of world scouting. So I'm gonna mix up some purple. Oh, that's coming out very green there, isn't it? Let's try again. And we'll just add the purple neckerchief in down there. It's actually come out more blue, but again, that's fine. We'll give them some shoulders and a body. And there's our scout explaining what the sustainable development goals are. For the next bit, we're going to try looking at one of the goals. We'll perhaps pick 13 and we'll try and create our own icon for what 13 could look like. For this next part, I'm gonna show you how to do a wax resist so you can join in. I've got some paper here. I'm using some stiff card. It's just cheap paper that I have around. And I'm using a wax crayon. And this is just regular white wax. And for this, so I think we'll draw, let's draw a flower. So I'm gonna draw firstly the stem. And you won't actually, I just broke it, but you won't actually see the flower. You'll just see the white on the page, which doesn't really come out on this camera terribly well. And put some petals in. Put some more petals in so it looks quite smart. Maybe a leaf there. And another leaf there. Yeah, we will have a couple of leaves. And it can finish in another flower. Now, I've just described to you what I've painted. Or I've drawn, but you can't actually see that. So I'm going to take some paint. In this case, I'm just using a tube paint. Put that onto my palette. And that can be the base colour for my flowers. And then I'm taking a yellow and a green. And I'm going to add those to my palette too. And then some lots of water on my brushes and we'll start off with just getting some of these colours out so how does this look that's a nice sort of maroon colour we got there a bit more water and I'm just going to mostly paint with the water and how we put this on just need to hold the page a bit It doesn't matter if you use more paint in one place and less in another because it just gives us the differences that we see in nature all around us because in nature we, there's this concept of wabi-sabi which means imper imperfect things are perfect and beautiful and I think that's a great way of starting to look at how we look at the world around us. We get some greens, just run that down. I'm a bit heavy with the green but never mind, I'll run these up and then we had the leaves coming in there. Let's just paint with the water with the leaves and see how that looks. We'll start seeing some of the leaves there. The trick is to remember where you've painted things because you can't always see the white. There's that. And then with the yellow, let's just add in some buds for these flowers too. So we add some of the buds in just like that. There we are. Maybe a bit of yellow on that leaf. 
and we have a flower. Now this isn't a particular type of flower, it's just about having fun with the wax and the water and the paint. So next up, let's look at SDG 13, climate change. One of the key markers of the Sustainable Development Goals is that they all fit to squares. So I'm going to start by drawing a square with my white wax crayon, which you won't be able to see, but I'm going to have some fun with it and scribble that square in to create a frame. Yeah, that side. Doesn't matter if there's gaps because they'll just fill nicely when we add the colour afterwards. That's it. And then what I'm going to do is write in just in this 13, so it met the goal for 13. And then just, just with water and a brush, no paint, if we think of that, it's got the eye shape with the, the, the earth in the middle. But actually, let's really look at that shape and come out of our own icon. So I'm just going to, in water, create a circle and that can represent the planet. And I'm just very much doing this in water, so just circling water around. Now I'm going to create a small landscape in the middle, so I'm going to draw some trees. And again, I'm just using water with this, no paint at all. A taller tree here. These might not show up terribly well when you see them, but when we add the paint, they'll look magical. Bit of foreground, some leaves. That's it. So, and now we should have some very tall trees, I think, over this side. And what I'm going to do is just think what colours trees are. So I'm going to go with some darker greens and just drag that through the water that I've used. And you'll start to see it takes the shape of what's there. Maybe some lighter green here. And it all starts to flood and fill around. Let's go over to this mid-green. Just bring that into there, and there's a tree there that could be mid-green. <clears throat> and it starts to look really amazing when we start to fill in where we did that water circle around it too. And hopefully what we end up with is a small forest look. So sort of a series of trees sitting in the forest. So I'm just going to add some darker bits for the bracken and the branches and the tree trunks. <coughs> and some yellows. And maybe some grasses. We'll just put some bits of grass coming in. And if you've got a particular type of grass or a particular flower where you are, then this is an opportunity to share that. So I'm in Wales at the moment, so I'm going to add in what we have growing in the springtime all over Wales, which is some daffodils. So these daffodils will be coming in here and they're beautiful flowers that um, have got these bright yellow sort of stalks on. So we'll just add some bright yellow for the daffodils for where I am. Now these trees are more looking like they haven't got any branches or any leaves, so I'm going to take some green and just work down putting in some of the, the uh, leaves and the branches of what's there. Maybe we have a little branch coming out that way. That's it. So it starts to look like a nice tree. And just bring that in. And don't put too much paint on, but you want enough so you can see some depth for the colour. So you want it nice contrasting areas and see what it looks like. And if it doesn't work, you can always start again. That's the beauty of these things, is that you can just have fun with it. Now, I'm going to get a nice bright green, add a bit of yellow into that. And I'm just going to, lots of water, fill in around the outside because we did write the box that the SDG sits in. And actually, I'm gonna to switch to a larger brush to do that. Just get a slightly bigger brush with water on it. Oops, hold the paper. That's it, I'm just taking it round so that we end up with the box shape that we're familiar with when we talk about SDGs. Because although we can change things, sometimes it's good to keep things which are recognisable so people know what we're talking about and they can see very clearly what we're trying to achieve. And in this case, it's 
action against climate change or what we can do to mitigate and support those affected by climate change. Let's make sure the 13 is nice and visible. There it is. So a bit more green. And there we have it. I think that's a really nice start. So that's reminding me of the woodlands near where I live. It's got the flowers for the country that I'm currently in and some grasses and some other bits there. And it's reminding me that this is my connection to the world. These are the woods I go camping in. These are the woods that I see flowers in and see trees in. And it all needs protecting. And what I'd like to do is encourage you at home to try and create your own sustainable development goal icons. Take them on in different ways and move them forwards and make them personal to you. Let's see what your personal SDGs look like when you paint them or draw them or however you want to express yourself. In that last sequence, I mentioned daffodils, which are one of the national flowers of Wales, the country that I'm currently in. And I thought I'd show you how to draw one using the same technique. So I have a yellow crayon, two shades of yellow and a white. And I'm going to start with the lightest yellow and just create the beautiful flower shapes. And then the darker yellow adds in these wonderful trumpets, which they're famous for. They sort of come out. Oh, it's sort of going around there too. Just a bit of definition with these, so you can see it. And then we'll switch to the paint. So I've added some greens to my palette here, and I'm just going to mix up a nice green. And I've got this nice starting light green here that's had a very light colour in just to show the stems and coming down and then a darker one maybe for a leaf and just add the suggestion of some leaves a bit of green in that yeah. and then just adding in some water around here to add some of that darker definition and it all starts to come to life with just that hint of green. I'm only using green to paint these because remember the yellows comes from the wax crayons that we've just used. And then we have two daffodils. And the most important thing when you're doing artwork is to get a nice complementary colour, in this case because I've used green, I'll use that, and to sign what you've done. And I hope you enjoyed this session. I really look forward to seeing the SDG icons that you come up with and we can see how that looks. And let's see lots of scouts getting creative all across the world. Have a great jotty jamboree. Take care.